Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to be showing y'all how to make a animated health bar for the player you're playing. So, um, let's begin. So, in style GUI I'm going to be inserting a screen GUI and I'm going to be naming it health, health bar. And inside of that I'm going to be putting a frame. So this frame is going to be like the main frame which is going to hold the health bar. So I'm going to put, put it main. So now I just need to give it a position to stay in so we can put the health bar over in. So I'm gonna make the anchor point uh, the Y to 1 and then go to position and um, change this to 1. So it will be here and that's a really good place for a health bar. And then um, the X so it should be higher in the x uh, x axis because health bar is something like that so for um for x i'm going to put something around 250 and uh the y250 so yes this size is actually pretty good the m if you want it more accurate then you should uh increase it so if it's 400 it will be more accurate so yeah actually I'll go with 400 and I'm gonna remove the border size pixels and that's fine now I'm gonna make it transparent because that's not the main uh, bar so now we will be working on the main health bar so I'm gonna be putting a frame and making this size 1010 so the scale should be 1 then it will scale to the full frame and now it will be good in all the screens yeah it should be suitable in all the screens so then this is gonna be overlay I mean this is gonna be backdrop actually so let me explain what backdrop is so oh my god my typing is alright uh, so the backdrop is the back part so when the health is reducing there is uh, another part to it and I'm gonna be making the backdrops border size pixel to zero too and now I'm gonna be duplicating the backdrop um, and then uh, naming that overlay and this overlay is gonna be the health bar like the bar which is gonna reduce um, so I just made it green so this overlay will reduce like this so that's what we're gonna script now so in the health bar I'm gonna go with a local script and in case if you want the letters like not letters like a text label displaying the health in uh, numbers I'm gonna put a text label in the main and do the same thing again so I'm gonna put the scale to yeah one by zero by one all right so and the background transparency to one text scaled text color to white or probably yeah black is great and uh let's give it a really good um health display type uh so yeah this is great so got the board i guess it's got the board yeah um and just to check i'm gonna change the text to um zero out of zero i mean you can do this or if you wanted to just show in percentage then uh something like this so so after that you can name this whatever you want um, I'll just say text overlay um, now let's go back to the script I'm gonna name this uh, local script handler alright so so first we need to get the player and we need the player because we need the humanoid and to get the humanoid we need the character so we're gonna say player dot character or player dot character added wait and let's get the humanoid after it's added so character character uh, wait for wait for wait for, oh my god my typing out wait for child humanoid 
so once we get this we need to get the max health of the humanoid and so i'm gonna say local max health equals to humanoid dot max health um now we need to change this text overlay to the current health so we need to get all of that so um, i will here get main which is so i'll first get the local health health bar which is script dot parent the main is health bar dot main and let's get the overlay main dot overlay local backdrop just do main dot back backdrop text overlay because the main dot um text overlay and now we need to just um put the max uh, the current health in the text overlay before beginning so just say text overlay dot text equals to humanoid dot health um, and we need to put a percentage so we uh, put two dots so we could connect the string with the health um, and now we need to um, now we just need to set the health so um, make sure your um, backdrop and overlay all should be scaled to 1 by 0 1 by 0 if not it won't work and now let's do it so here we are going to say overlay we're going to change the overlay dot size equals to udim to dot new and here we are going to do the math it's not basically math yeah it is math but you don't need to see what the math does you just need to type this so so it should be humanoid dot health so humanoid dot health is the current health so your 50 health and um we can divide it by the max health so max health is 100 so it will be um 50 divided by 100 which is 2 then uh this text uh this overlays uh this is gonna be 2 so um yeah when when i show you you'll understand because it doesn't the math in this does not work like that apparently so so only the x we should do it so imagine you have a, a gy which is going up and not in the x so then it sh you should do this in the x so it will go up and down not uh, in the x-axis it will go in the y-axis if you know what I mean so um, so if you do this now it should uh, change the size to whatever the health you have but it's not over now we just need to update it every time so we're gonna say get property so get property changed signal and we need to get the health and connected connect it and then it's gonna be a function so whenever the humanoid is um humanoid's health is changed this is gonna run so we need to animate it so we need to get a service and this is to animate so we need the tween service then the service tween service right um to um to tween the health bar um so now whenever the health is changed we are gonna tween it so we're gonna create a new tween and uh tell what we're gonna uh, be animating so it's gonna be the overlay and we're gonna give it a tween in four um i basically go around 1.2 uh, so it will be perfect and it won't take time to animate that so and the enum dot easing style matters too here so um, if it's sign it will be a bit smooth if you want it to bounce and go it's gonna be really ugly to be honest but if you want it to bounce then bounce sorry I just had a interference but let's continue um, so after we set the easing style that's all uh, that's all we should do in the twin info now we go outside of the brackets and now we just make a table and we're, that's where we're gonna 
change the size of the overlay to the health so it's basically going to be the same thing which I did here so it's going to be size equals to we don't put um, overlay dot size because we already say overlay here we just change the properties of it inside this table and we need to even change the text overlay so I can just copy and paste it into the thing here so make sure we play this so at the end we just say play and two brackets um, now if we just um, play it um, so if I go to the workspace let's just first see if there are any errors there's no errors I think there's no error let me just there are no errors and that's a good sign so if I got it so it shows 100% if I go to humanoid and change the health to 80 as you can see it changed to 80% and it animated to that correct place so if I put one um, at one person and it will show here I can put 0.5 and it will go a bit down and 50 to go up 50 51 also it will go everything uh, so if we go over the limit it will stay in 100 um, I'll just show you also if I put max health 500 and make this 450 as you can see it will go all the way it, it's like it doesn't matter so if I go 350 and make this 350 it go down 350 so um yeah that's how you do an animated health bar um if you all want a version where it is the other way around um let me just show you all real quick so i'm gonna quickly change it here and show you so the main i'm gonna make this 50 and make this 400 and so it will be like this this is why i told you i'll put a main frame and then inside that just scale it to one by one so it will be easier anyways you should do that now it's like this and we go back here and instead of doing it in the x we just put one here and go to the y and do it in the y so i just put the one here. humanoid so now if I make the health 80 as you can see it went it went but it's the other way as you can see it is the other way and um, we need to fix it so so to fix it um, think we should uh, do this so max health divided by humanoid health I'm not pretty sure why that's happening but think let's see then this will break it actually yeah it breaks it oh yeah hold on I think I know how I think we should put minus here and now let's play oh, it's the so apparently it is the other way around and So this overlay over here so 
in this overlay the size if we change this to 0.5 it will anyways go from the other way if I change this to minus nothing will happen as you can see it will and I think I know the reason for it that's because in overlay the anchor point is in the wrong place the anchor point here should be 1 and then we change the position here to 1 and now if perfect now it should work Now it should work guys, my bad. It's just the overlays position anchor. So before the anchor was in the top, so whenever it, uh, the size changes, it will um, go up like that. But now the anchor point is here, so it will come down like that. Mm. So now if I just put 50, as you can see, if I make it 80, um, 0.5 and so it it's perfect now as you can see so that's how you do it guys um i'm really tired it's like um level 11 41 pm so that's why i couldn't explain it properly but i hope you all um learned something from this video so yeah peace out